hello and welcome to another vlog it's been a while I know the last one for some reason the the sound didn't work so I'm just gonna put my hat on it's very hot here I'm in Alice Springs anyway I will talk a bit about what I was talking about in that one and in and some other stuff as well these, these tend to be like stream of consciousness, really whatever's current for me and whatever's on my mind. Now I've been in Australia for just over nine weeks now and I've got three weeks left. Um, and my goal was to inspire women who've had maybe had difficult lives like me, that you just have to make the most of life and go for it and become resourceful. And I've found ways to do that and stretch myself really and it's been a big stretch and one thing that I've learned and I talked a bit about this in the last video which there was no sound to was that I noticed that I still have the same feelings as I do at home I get anxious I get depressed you know and those things don't necessarily go away because it's not like a holiday maybe where you're there for a week two weeks and you just distract yourself it's not possible to do that when you're away for a long time and this is becoming sort of more my life as well this is how i want to live my life so it's about dealing with daily realities where am i going to stay what am i going to eat and things like that and dealing with the emotions and a lot of fear because um you don't know what's going to happen and not just when you're traveling, but anytime. And that's sort of really been highlighted for me these last few days. Some things have happened that I could never have anticipated. And there's part of me thinking, well, this wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't plan for this, resulting in some big feelings and big emotions. And on Monday, I shared a, a guided meditation about dealing with those emotions because it that was current and that was real for me and i had my techniques for dealing with that so the thing is when you want to do you know if you've got goals plans things that you'd love to do so for me it's being able to live work from anywhere that i choose there's no there's never going to be a perfect time there's no good waiting oh well when my mental health is all better then i'll go and it's let's face it it's a lot better than it was a couple of years ago and i i don't very often get depressed and anxious these days i'm saying i never do but it's it's a, on a different level now and i've got more tools and ability to deal with it because as i've gone through it i i've learned i've healed and each time you know something comes up I can look at the lessons that life is showing me I can take a step back and instead of reacting think well how am I going to deal in this situation do I need to do anything or can I just sit with how I'm feeling and eventually it passes even though at the time it might feel like oh, I'm stuck in this it's never going to change. It does. Nothing ever lasts forever. So, and, and one of my, you know, one of the things as well, it's like, that's happened this week. It's like, well, I'm used to being on my own. And I, I had a friend traveling me, with me for a bit. And that was challenging at first because I'd be, been sort of mostly on my own. Obviously, I've been staying with people and that met people on the way. But having somebody with you pretty much all the time, that was an adjustment. And then, as I say, the last few days I've done a, a tour with 20 other people. And I've made friends with some other people. Things have happened which brought up all this stuff because I'm like, oh, I the way I saw the situation was not what it was. And then I realized I'd misinterpreted it. I'm thinking, oh, no, this um, wasn't in my plan. I'm, I want to be on my own and I'm single and I'm happy, but you never know, do you? What is gonna happen? And I think, for me, I, I, I sort of stopped 
looking for relationships and thinking um, I don't mind in fact my choice would be probably to be single but then you never know if you're going to meet somebody and when that happens it, it can bring up a huge amount of stuff because it, it, you can get complacent and think well this is fine now I've dealt with all the stuff I've healed from previous relationships or you know pretty much completely but you know I don't believe that you ever fully healed until you become enlightened because when you you know other people will just reflect your stuff back to you so then it's like well if I'm getting annoyed I'm getting upset about the way this other person's acting then this is a chance for me to think well what's being reflected back to me what are they showing me that's unhealed in myself and once you know and it's no good wanting other people to act differently or be more spiritual or more aware because everybody is where they're at on their journey and I I just say, well, all we can do is just work on ourselves. With whatever's going on in the world, we can only do our best, heal our wounds, and then the world becomes a better place. So I would just say, whatever you, is going on in your life right now, whatever you're feeling, and however, you know, stuck you might be feeling, you know, I've been there, I've been through all that. It's it, it's not going to last forever. And if you're patient, have faith, you're able to be with whatever's happening, then a life unfolds. And it, it, it's like, well, we can't predict what's going to happen. We can make plans, sort of, but all our plans are provisional. We know that from when we had lockdown a few years ago everything was cancelled so every single person's plans all their plans were cancelled we couldn't go anywhere so that's a really good example very maybe a very extreme one but it's a good reminder that things can just change in an instant and we never know when that will be and all we can do is be mindful and be self-aware of how we're responding, the feelings that are coming up, and that can happen anywhere. It could happen if you're sitting on your sofa. It's bank holiday weekend in the UK as I record this, and I believe seeing from people's posts, it's a typical bank holiday, but it's raining and windy. Whereas I'm here, 30 degrees, it's beautiful, because it's a dry heat. I love the heat, I love the warm, I'm a tropical flower. Um, so if I'm dealing with all these big feelings and emotions, I might as well be doing it here than, than sitting at home worrying. I can, you can still enjoy life. You don't have to let that stop you. And so here endeth the lesson for today. I will just flip my camera around and show you some of the beautiful scenery. Over there is the Todd River, which leads up to the original Alice Spring which is not actually a spring at all. They thought it was, but it's not. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more vlogs, guided meditations, EFTs, and I will see you again very soon. So in the meantime, take care, go well, and lots of love.